All right, it's weigh-in day. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. Today is the day that James, the fellow is going to weigh our caravan. He's going to tell us if we need a new car or not. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> we might crossed. not be friends with James after this day. <laughs> well, we've um, been on a diet to try and um, yeah. shed some weight. <laughs> and Elenia said this morning, has everyone gone to the toilet? Because we need every little kilo we can get. <laughs> well, makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. But we're full of water, we filled everything up. Um, the fridge in the car has got two cases of beer in it. Um, the water tank in the car is full. All the water tanks in the caravan are full. We're set up how we normally try. I think that's important when you do weigh. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah. And the boys are already helping James. Mm. <laughs> They're taking his cones. <laughs> are you helping? <laughs> All right, this is James from Mobile Safety Weighing Services. And he is gonna be weighing a whole setup today. I was gonna get James to run through exactly what what the process is of weighing it. So I've noticed you got the um, the pads out already. Yep, so we got, the, so the pads are on the, for the car. So first of all, what we do is that we drive the car up onto the pad with the caravan attached. Yep. Take a, a weight rating with the computer, print, print that off. Yep. Um, once we've done that, we take the caravan off the car. Um, and just do the car by itself. Separate. And how come you do that? Just to so more more so we do the do the second one more so for people that haven't got modified cars or haven't got suspension upgrades done yet. Yeah. Um, they can then take um, that paperwork down to one of their suspension guys. Um, see, let them know what what it weighs with the caravan on, what it weighs with the caravan off, oh, um, yeah. and then they can get the correct upgrades yeah. or but they might not need upgrades. Yeah. So um, essentially to see what upgrades best suits the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. best suits what they're yeah. towing and when they're not towing. Oh, okay. just, you're just driving standard. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. And then, um, what, then the caravan. So yeah, then we move on to the caravan. So then we get the, the car off the pads, put the caravan on, the way the caravan attached to the car, um, and then we'll take the caravan off the car and do the do the tow ball weight, yeah. um, which a lot of people get confused about, or the most important one, yeah, it's tow yeah. ball weight. Now, my understanding, the tow ball weight becomes a part of your car's payload when you when it's when all it's attached. attached. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people don't take that into consideration. And yeah. that's a good one because um, it's one thing that you probably don't even think about. And another question I have is: there any sort of so obviously you've got the big American trucks, you've got the Utes and a wagon. Is there any of those that stand out? Um, for like being overweight more than others, or they I think, all just... I think no, I think more so that the big either the big American trucks or the the more the Land Cruisers and the big patrols because they think they've got such a big a big car already, they think it can handle a hell of a lot more weight. Yeah. A lot of the time, the car weighs more. It is bigger, but therefore the car weighs a lot more. Yeah. Um, so therefore, yeah, there's actually some of the smaller cars can actually tow and handle weight better than what some of the bigger cars can. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I guess, I guess that's a good point because you just never know until you get weighed. Yeah. And that's why we're doing it because it, um, if you're overweight and you have a crash, you're not insured, are you? Not insured. Yeah. Um, your car, obviously the braking's affected, the steering could be affected if the car, yeah. if it's not correctly weighted, yeah. uh, loaded, sorry. Um, so your steering can be affected, which will, which will cause the accident in the first place. Yeah. Um, yeah, so then insurance will be void. So if you've got, 200,000 plus worth of setup, then yeah. say goodbye to both the car. And if, if just the car's over, doesn't matter. The insurance company will not cover the caravan and vice versa. If the caravan's right. over, the car will still be, um, would be void. Yeah. So you've lost everything. So that's a good point. Cause I didn't, I didn't think that. I thought if one was under, it'd be right. That's no. a, that's a cracking point. And um, if you've just shelled out hard earned money for a, a setup yeah. and you yeah, have a crash and you're overweight, you're not getting nothing back. Well, I'd say a basic setup now with the car and caravan, you're easily looking at $100,000. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Um, and yeah, say, say goodbye to both $100,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we're uh, James and I are friends at the moment, but maybe in an hour or so, we're probably not going to be. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about in this car, I think, well, is the gross combined mass and the rear axle weight. Yeah. The tinny and everything you got inside the back. I reckon we'll be all right. We might yeah. we might just scrape in, but you've got a couple of couple of things to, to play with if, if that's the case with a couple of yeah, couple of right. ways we can change it. I got one more question. Yeah. Out of all the so obviously you got the gross vehicle mass of the car yep. and the caravan and then um, axle weights and all that. 
do many people know about axle weights? People know about them, but I don't think they worry about them. Yeah. Um, because the, the car might look look like it's sitting fine. Um, yeah. So they just assume that um, the axle weight might be should be fine. But yeah. a lot of people will go over their like the most common problem with the car. I'd say would be people going over their rear axle weight. Yeah. Because okay. one, they've got a big 18 by 1800 square flat surface to load up full of yeah. bikes and fridges and drawers and four wheel drive gear. Yeah. Then they go and put another couple of hundred kilos of tow ball on. Yeah. Then that all affects the, and that's all on the rear axle. Right. So, and then they go yeah. and put a tinny on the roof. All <laughs> well, these people with tinnies. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, that's enough talking. Um, let's settle a few nerves and get the car on the pads now. Let's see how we go. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> okay. She's working. Yeah, <laughs> two that apprentices. One. That one's looking. Here we go, jumping up on the pads now. We might have nailed it. So our fatties have to stay in here. <laughs> this is the first <laughs> leg of the process. And uh, are you nervous? Um, no. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Oh, good. Well, good. That's it. That, that, that's that one done. Really? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So the next steps, James has said, we're going to get out of the car, take the van off, and we're going to weigh the car by itself. Oh, it's all starting to kick off. Ollie's awake. <laughs> so just the car's turn now. Into the car just by itself, <laughs> and um, making me. Um, <laughs> James is just setting out to weigh the van. He's, um, he's let on that we might have a heavy tow ball weight, so um, it could be a bit of rejigging happening um, after this van goes on the scales. Fanny's turn. Here we go. Right. So what we've so what we've got here. These are so these are your compliance weights. So this is what the caravan and car, what the manufacturer says that your caravan and car yeah. can weigh. Um, these are what your actual weights are. Um, so what we've got here, your, your gross vehicle mass, you're under your gross vehicle mass by 130 kilos. Ooh. So Ooh. that's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, your gross combination mass, so that's car and caravan together, combined. Yep. You're under by 288 kilos. Oh, that's good. Um, your front axle weights, you're under by 195 kilos. Yep. However, the rear axle weight, we're over by 65 kilos. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. um, our ATM of the caravans, um, 3.5, your actual ATM is 3.693, um, so we're like 193 kilos over your ATM, right. um, and then your GTM, we're 13 kilos over your GTM. Over. Yeah. Right, um, so we got a bit of culling to do. A little bit of, just a little bit of trimming, or we could try and work out if we can transfer some of that weight to the car, Yeah. but keeping in mind we're going to take it off the rear axle. Um, like oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, either yeah. either moving moving the tinny forward if we can, yeah, um, which which is quite an easy object to move forward, yeah, um, which will then get more weight on that front axle, yeah. which will then give us a bit more room to play with, right? Okay, yeah, um, and our tow ball weight is over by one kilo, right? So that's <laughs> so can, that's what we can. I'm pretty sure we can work yeah, with that one. We can change um, something around there. Yeah, your tow ball mass is nine point nine point five percent. Yeah. So people like you, you always want to try and keep it around that ten percent. Yeah. Okay. Um, the tow ball mass is where a lot of people come unstuck. That's where they. That's where you get the sway happening. If you've got a very uh, light tow ball weight, that's where you'll notice the sway. Right. Um, usually, if your caravan's driving true and nice behind you, especially around that 85, 90 kilometres an hour, um, you've probably got a nice tow ball. If it's starting to sway at about 80 or 90, then chances are you've got a light tow ball. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yours is pretty much spot on, yeah. other than having to try and lose one kilo off that tow ball. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Is there any opportunity we can move some stuff around and see how much it changes things yeah. on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, can move, we can move that tinny forward a bit more. Yeah. Um, if there's anything, any heavy items that you've got, yeah, yeah easily move. We can move it from the front of the caravan to the back of the caravan, or in the right. car. Yep. Um, yeah, if you want to. Yeah, we'll do that. that again. Yeah, see if how we go. If you've got time. Yep. See, yep. <laughs> see how we go and see if we can get all in the green. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The first thing we're going to do, because we've got a, um, a drop-down slide in the car and a, a, a chest freezer, a fridge freezer, we're going to simulate getting rid of that and putting uh, an upright fridge in. So I'm going to take all the beer out. And then um, I'm gonna empty the water tank on the back of this car too. <laughs> 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 the 
The kids love it how we've got to get rid of this water. And James has caught under the van and emptied the front tank on the van to drop it. There's 100 kilos there dropped. Um, and he said it's already put our tow ball under. So we get a green tick there. But we still got to find 90 kilos out of the van. So that could be interesting. But we'll see with everything we've done, taking the beer out, which simulating swapping that fridge over to an upright. We'll see if we can get the rear axle weight sweet uh, and go from there. We've moved the boat forward as well, which helped a little bit. But all these little things um, hopefully will add up. Yeah, and James said even we've got um, D shackles and everything, a little recovery gear. He said change those out to soft shackles and all that, and he said that'll save you. How much is a D shackle? I think a D shackle's about three kilos. Yeah. And those soft shackles don't even register on the on the scale. The, the scales will do up to one kilo. Yeah. But they won't even register. If two of them together won't even register. Right. So we've got I think two or three D shackles. So there's what ten kilos nearly. And then you've got your snatch block. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure your snatch block was around seven to ten kilos. Yeah. If you swap that out for one of those uh, snatch rings. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they weigh, I think, 500 grams. Yeah, right. Yeah, so. so there's a possibility of 20 kilos there as well. Just in four-wheel drive gear. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, we might have to get rid of that if we don't <laughs> go under. <laughs> we'll see how we go. See how we go. We're going to run through the whole weighing process again and see if that's made a difference. I think we'll still be over the ATM on the caravan by 100 kilos, which we're going to have to, uh, when we're leaving here, we'll just drain the tank so we can get back to home safely and then um, we're going to have to get rid of 100 kilos of weight somewhere in the van, um, which hopefully won't be too hard. And then, um, yeah, see how we go. We're going to have to change the fridge in the car to an upright. And um, I just looked online, the drop down slide for that car, uh, for the fridge, is 40 something kilos. And then the fridge is another like 25 or 30 kilos. So the weight of that alone will be an upright fridge loaded. So um, hopefully we can get under the car and get under the caravan so we don't have to buy any new tow vehicle. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll wait all now and see what happens. What's our numbers now? So now on round two, again, compliance weights are all the same. Yep. Um, actual weights have changed. So our gross vehicle mass in combination is 196 in the green. Yeah, that's which good. Is car and van. So that's that's the car attached to the caravan. Yep. So in combination attached yep. to the caravan. Um, the gross combination mass, 442 kilos in the green. Cool. So that's what the car can tow in combination. Yep. Um, so car and caravan. Car and caravan yep. can weigh that. Um, your front axle weight's now 175 kilos. <clears throat> because we've taken weight off the back of the car, it's then transferred it back to the front of the car. Uh, right, um, yeah. so, that's, so, so, so that's the difference before, I think it was 190 something, now it's 175. Yep. Still on the green though, that's still a fair bit of weight we can put in the front. Yeah, cool. Um, your rear axle weight, which before we were over um, by 65 kilos, I think it was, we're now under by 21 kilos. Right. Um, and then, like you say, there's still a couple of things that would that you can change yeah. in the back, even though you've drained the water tank. Yeah. Um, just by changing that fridge with the drop down slide to an upright yeah. fridge, you could probably put your be which you can put your beers back in <laughs> and probably have the water tank back full again. Yeah, awesome. Um, our, our ATM though, the, so the caravan's still a little bit heavy, by yeah. about 80 kilos. Yeah. Um, obviously, that's that's probably workable um, because we've got a bit more room to play with now in the car. If there's a couple of items that you can take oh, yeah. from the caravan, you can now transfer them to the car. Yeah. Um, or like we were talking, you can move that tinny forward even more. Yeah. Which then goes on the front axle weights. Yeah. So the weight of that tinny will then go more on the front. Therefore, you can put a bit more weight in the back of the car, and then get your water tanks full and have everything. Yeah. Everything right. back in check. So just a bit of rejigging there. I think it's yeah. It's probably a bit more rejigging. Probably do a go through everything okay, just see, see, if, see if there is water, uh, lighter <laughs> items yeah like we're saying that four-wheel drive gear is still in there so there's another yeah. there's another 10 or 15 kilos possibly that we could save um, and i've in got the... spear fishing gear in the caravan as well that yeah free diver and, weights and stuff or yeah. a few rods we can get rid of <laughs> we don't catch any fish anyway yeah. oh, <laughs> that's, oh that's harsh that um <laughs> yeah, so like, there is things you can you can you can yeah. look through the van and just seriously consider yeah, how sure. often do I use this? Yeah. Um, have I ever used this? 
Right. Is yeah. there an, is there a lighter option? Yeah. Okay. Um, like I know you, you you go out and buy you buy something and then when you actually weigh it, you go, oh, I should have got the lighter option. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you want to be still be under like insurance and safety of passengers yeah. and other road users, then yeah, get Some, sometimes you got to lighten up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beer tow ball weight's good still, still at nine point one percent. Yeah. Um, so that's that's still a good tow ball weight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then your passenger, so the way that the caravan's loaded, driver's side, passenger side, you're pretty much uh, 40, 40, 49, 51, um, yeah, so yeah. that's pretty much... Oh, we must yeah. know something about loading yes. then if we go that <laughs> right. <laughs> so left and right you can load, but just not yeah. front and back. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. Uh, but it's workable. This, it's so, workable. Now, so now it's workable. Now, now we've, even though we've drained water tanks, yeah. you can see the difference in just draining a little bit of water or yeah. just by removing it a carton of beer from yeah. the car and moving it somewhere else just how much it actually overall that uh, weight yeah, makes a difference yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 oh cool oh i think that's it i think we've nearly got it we're just going to remove 80 kilos of junk out of the van More stuff. <laughs> <laughs> be wearing Bit the same clothes for the next <laughs> year or two yeah and um yeah thanks mate thanks for that. no yeah. worries Legend. all the best on your travels yeah and um, because we can't take the beer with us, I guess you're going to have to. The fridge is, the fridge is empty, so. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Uh, all good. Um, I'll give you a copy of all this. I'll give you a copy of the other one. Yeah. So at least you know what you, you came from and then what we're at as it sits now. So what I'll give you, so that's all your, your weights from today. Um, this is your, your new weights. That was your original ones. The red ones. Um, before, <laughs> yeah, so the red ones. We'll keep them hidden. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, you just get it printed out in a folder. Um, it's got a bit of an explanation about your gross vehicle masses, your gross trailer masses, your combination mass. Yeah. When people start talking about GCM, ATM, GVM, GCM, yeah. TBM, oh. <laughs> it's, it all gets confusing. Yeah, so yes, that's why we do a little a little print out of that. Yeah, um, right. And just a little caravan safety check checklist. Um, oh. Brakes, tyres, lights, towing, um, all that sort of stuff. Awesome. Just a few little things to help you out. And if you want to find James's Wayne service, we'll put all the links in the description and on the screen here. Uh, call him up, he's a good guy. <laughs> he didn't jig the numbers for us, but that's all right. We want to be under. So after we got the, the car home the other day, after we weighed it, we went through, Eleni went through the inside and culled a heap of gear, just toys, batteries. We had a heap of batteries for some reason, just a heap of gear out of the van. Um, and I went through, changed the car fridge out to an upright fridge which saved us like 50, 60 kilos. Got rid of 20 kilos worth of four-wheel drive gear, like D-shackles, all that sort of thing. Um, what else did we get rid of? Oh, we had all our jerry cans full, so we carry about 30 litres of unleaded and 40 litres we had in diesel jerry cans. So, um, I mean, there's another 60 kilos there. Um, Got rid of some free diving gear, batteries, cast net out of the van and transferred them into the car because we had um, more weight in the car, especially at the front. So we put some just at the boys' feet, like camp ovens, all the heavy stuff. So <clears throat> I reckon with all that, um, we well and truly got rid of 190 um, kilos <clears throat> out of this. And I think when we're doing remote travel, we just have to be mindful if we've got full jerry cans, full boat fuel, we might have to empty some water out of one of the main tanks, um, which is fine because because we swapped the fridge and everything over in the car, we can have it full of water too, which is a 50 litre tank. So um, I think well, that's something we just have to manage. And um, yeah, we're under, so Maxi's staying. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions, hit us up. Um, yeah, see you on the next one.